how to make animated money counter inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm inside DaVinci and I'm going into effects library and I'm typing fusion composition. You can then grab it and leave it on your timeline. And next you can go into fusion composition. You can do that by right clicking on your fusion composition and select open in fusion page. In here you will want to add a background. You can grab it from here and leave it on your node 3 right here. You can then connect your background to your media out and then you can go in the inspector while the background is highlighted you can reduce the alpha to a values of zero then you can highlight this background and select text from here and that will create a merge node in between you can then you want to highlight this text node and head over to the top of the inspector right here you can then right click and in here you can select edit control inside of here you want to insert a new name for this example i'm gonna type counter make sure you remember the name that you're typing in here. Also, you wanna select text in here and also you can select slider control from here. Also, make sure to leave a range starting from zero. Let's say for example, 100,000 and also animation should be selected and in here, integer also. When we got this out of the way, let's move on, select OK and continue with our animation. Yet still we don't see any numbers popping in and inside the inspector you can see that we have our counter but nothing shows up. So you need to right click on the text field and just select expression which is the last one. And in here you will see this text field in which you have to rename in order to see the text. So you have to type in there text1 which is your note then you can leave a dot and then type the name that you have just created previously which in my case is counter. As I slide my counter meter, you can see that the numbers are showing up, but there's no money symbol in the beginning. Even if I type this before my zero, it's still not showing. So you have to retype something else in this text field. And this is exactly this text ending with two dots. That way you can see the dollar symbol in the beginning. You can also type euros or pounds, depending on the currency that you want. So in order to make a keyframe, you want to make sure your timeline playhead is in the beginning create a keyframe on counter which is on zero then move further in the timeline and change the counter number let's say for example for 10,000 so I'm typing 10,000 and I'm gonna play through to see what's gonna happen assumingly it's gonna count from zero to 100 until the second keyframe and there is a few more things that you can add up to power up this money counter you can change the color from here I'm putting on green also I'm changing the font I'm choosing obelisk this is one of the main fonts that people are using for money counters. I'm increasing the size by a tiny bit. I'm going to shading, page number 2 and I select enable. Here also I'm going to color, I'm changing it from red to black. That's why I'm adding a stroke on my numbers. And I'm also increasing the thickness so it's gonna be visible. Also while the text is highlighted you can press ctrl spacebar to open the toolbox. And you can type glow, you can add soft glow, click on add. And you can decrease the gain almost to minimum, increase the threshold almost to half of it and then also increase the glow size of your liking. This is not mandatory, this is just something that I like to add when using this effect on my projects. Also you can add some animations, some motion blur or some shakes. I hope this video was helpful, you can also watch this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.